Minnesota Fighting Vikings lost a young, promising offensive line depth piece as Kyle Hinton has signed a futures reserve contract with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, reserve futures contracts are for players that were on the practice squads of teams at the end of the season, and it basically just gives them a spot on the 90-man rooster. Sometimes there's guaranteed money involved, sometimes there's not, uh, but Kyle Hinton obviously saw a better opportunity with the Falcons uh, versus trying to climb a pill uh, and continue with the Vikings, even though... I don't know. With the way the Vikings interior offensive line played at times this year, I mean, Kyle, big hit and Hinton should have been in the mix, is what it is. And Chris Thomas and Pioneer Press is reporting that uh, a source said that the Vikings offered to sign guard Kyle Hinton, who was on the practice squad, to a futures contract, but he got a $100,000 signing bonus to join the Atlanta Falcons instead, and that was too good to pass up. Hinton was the Vikings' seventh round pick in 2020. And hey, someone wants to pay me 100 k to be on a 90 man rooster and maybe get cut. I'm in. I'm in, man. Also, Atlanta, woo! Let's go. Hot Atlanta, baby. Uh, Kyle Hinton uh, was a 2027th round pick out of Washburn University, D2 school in. Guess the state. I'll give you five seconds. Just kidding. Kansas. Uh, but he was an absolute physical freak. And I was super excited when the Vikings snatched him up uh, in the seventh round. 2019 D2 All-American. Uh, played left tackle in college. Was obviously going to be kicking inside. But just was a freak athlete. Uh, absolutely super freak. Super freak. Super freaky. That's Rick James, man. That's right. 9.44 out of 10 RAS. And it's just like, hey, this is a guy that obviously isn't going to start right away, but kick him inside, get him some reps and see what can happen. And it just didn't happen. I don't know whether it's the previous regime or the new regime. It, it, uh, Kyle Hinton just never really got on the field. He's up and down from the practice squad. Uh, he was uh, elevated a number of times this season, made his NFL debut finally this year, week 17 against the Packers, played five special team snaps, uh, and then got extended run, 34 offensive snaps at left guard against the Bears week 18. You know, Did pretty damn good, and uh, I think he put enough tape on wax uh, that the Falcons were like, hey, We'll take a shot on you. And yeah, it kind of sucks because I'm a big fan of Kyle Hinton, but sort of is what it is. The business is the business. And the Vikings will pick up another young stud athletic uh, interior offensive lineman uh, that can hopefully climb up the ranks. But yeah, I'm wishing Kyle Hinton the best. Hopefully he goes to Atlanta. Hopefully he kills it. Hopefully he becomes a starter and does everything like that. But just hopefully not against us because, you know, the Vikings and the Falcons just don't have good playoff history. <laughs> But anyways, uh, rooting for Kyle Hinton, just not against the Vikings. You know what I mean? But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. The Vikings lose uh, young uh, interior offensive lineman Kyle Hinton to the Falcons, signing a futures contract for 100 dimes. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.